here for all of the youngsters of the country in Canada. Ah. Hello, I'm John Oster from Melbourne Program, Rolling Stones Economics. I want to introduce you like Ed Sullivan just introduced Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. Tyler Francis, who are going to talk about an U.S. economy that's in recession. This was the question number one on the 2018 AP macro test, the big law free response question. So Buck and Tyler from Malvern Prep are going to talk about the U.S. economy being in recession. Welcome. Question one. Assume the United States economy is in a recession. Draw a correctly labeled graph of the long run aggregate supply, short run aggregate supply, and aggregate demand curves, and show each of the following. Current price level, labeled PL1, and current output, labeled Y1. So as you can see over here, this is the US uh, economy. Uh, we want it to be at this equilibrium, but unfortunately the US economy is in a recession. So that means that aggregate demand will be down here, and you can, as you can see also, uh, is in a recessionary gap. Uh, this means that the price level will be at this quantity currently and this uh, output currently. Question two. Now did you draw? Did you draw? Did you identify the things you had to label the, the names? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it's, Y1 and the other one. Question two. Now assume the eurozone, a major trading partner of the United States, enters into a recession. What will the effect on U.S. exports be? to the Eurozone. Explain. So because of the Eurozone um, being in a recession, this means that the uh, U.S. economy will uh, have less exports go out because uh, the Eurozone wants to buy less exports. So uh, this could be represented over here as uh, it goes down. On your graph in Part A, show the effect of the change identified in Part B, I, on the real output in the United States. So as you can see, the original recessionary gap is right here, but because of this added fa uh, factor, the AD will go and decrease to this quantity, and price level, the new price level will be at this part, and the new quantity uh, of output will be right here. And Buck, what component of aggregate demand would be the one that is reduced there to cause the decrease in sp total spending? Uh, the exports. In that ex Excellent. Uh, what will what will be the effect of the change identified in Part B two on unemployment in the United States? Because the recession has become greater, this uh, causes the unemployment to go up and it will be higher. Could you show the unemployment the way you labeled it on that U.S. economy graph? Yes, as you can see, that the quantity output will be lower at this point, uh, showing that it would be a higher. So Y2 compared to Y1 being less shows the, decrease, the increase in an unemployment due to less Correct. national output. Great. Question three. Assume the Eurozone recession causes a decrease in the demand for United States dollars in the foreign exchange market. <coughs> Will the Euro appreciate, depreciate, or remain unchanged against the dollar? Explain. So in uh, the foreign uh, exchange market, uh, only one currency can appreciate or depreciate. Both currencies can't can appreciate or depreciate at the same time. So I right hear in the eurozone, uh, since uh, the demand for euros uh, increases on the supply, the euros is going to decrease, thus causing uh, the euro currency to appreciate, making uh, making the U.S. dollar. More, it takes more U.S. dollars to uh, get one euro. So instead, instead of saying it will cost two U.S. dollars to get one to get one euro, it'll it'll now take four U.S. dollars, five U.S. dollars to get one euro. And also in uh, the U.S. market, it'll depreciate, uh, thus having the that's having the U.S. dollar to take more U.S. dollars to get one euro. 
Tyler, very good. Uh, just, to, just to clarify, because of the decrease in exports, foreign, uh, you people, Europeans buying U.S. goods, where it starts would be in the dollar market, right? There would be a decrease in demand for U.S. dollars because of the decrease in spending by Europeans. Yes. That would cause a depreciation like you did very well in the dollar market. And as, as, as the uh, people are now putting less and less euros in the exchange market, that's why there's a decrease in supply in the euro market, which you explain the impact very well. Yes. Draw a correctly labeled graph of the foreign exchange market for dollars and show the effect of the decrease in the demand for dollars on the, ex on the exchange rate for dollars. Good job, you already did that. Yeah. But if that's where it starts, could you point to the decrease in demand for dollars? So Just point to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's, and they actually, in the question, told you there was a decrease in demand for dollars. And I hope everybody out there in the country and in, and in, and in the world understands that if they even they didn't say that, you understand why there's a decrease in demand for the U.S. dollars, which would cause the U.S. dollars to appreciate. Very good. Assume the United States implements a combination of expansionary fiscal and monetary policies. In the absence of complete crowding out, what will the effect of these policies have on each of the following? Aggregate demand in the U.S., the price level in the U.S., interest rates in the U.S. Explain interest rates. So, aggregate demand in the United States is first. So, in the United States, uh, expansionary fiscal policy will increase the, the goal is to increase aggregate demand which which will uh, reduce the recessionary gap, thus bring the EE, thus bring it back to equilibrium on the aggregate demand. So for the fiscal policy, Congress is the one who will enact all the policies. Policies are to increase government spending and to de decrease taxes to, to decrease aggregate demand. And for the monetary policy, uh, that is enacted by the Fed and that is to uh, buy bonds and to decrease interest rates and also to decrease the reserve ratios uh, within the banks. So with the uh, fiscal policies, that the fiscal policy will uh, increase the, uh, the demand for money and with the monetary policy that will, that will uh, increase the, the supply of money for the people. Tremendous. And remember, what we're saying is this is an expansionary policy, so that's why the demand for money will increase and why the supply of money will both, both will increase in this expansionary policy by the government uh, uh, agencies. So next is price level in the United States. What would the effect of the... Well, that's what happened to the interest rate. That's the next interest yeah. rate. It says price level and then interest rates. Oh, well... With the price levels, uh, with all the expansionary policies being en enacted by uh, the Congress and, and the Fed, that will have a uh, that will have an effect on the price level, which will uh, increase, which will increase the price level, which will also, which will also in increase the inflation within the United States. And back to uh, the supply of money. Uh, also, as I said, with all these new policies being enacted, uh, there will be a new uh, supply of money with uh, SM2 and a new demand for money, uh, DM2, and, and, and a new quantity. But with the uh, interest rates, it, uh, there are there with so many factors being involved, we still cannot tell if the interest rates will increase or decrease. Very good, thank you, and guess what? Now you, here at Malvern Prep and in the rest of the country, we now have, we can get some utility. utility. How to solve a recession. Excellent job, fellas. Thank you.